Hey there, space enthusiasts. Welcome back to another riveting episode of Elon Empire. I'm thrilled to have you join us today for an update that's sure to ignite your curiosity. So without further ado, let's blast off into the latest news of the realm of space exploration. Over the past few years, SpaceX has been making remarkable strides in its Starship program, with three successful flights already integrated into the books. And now, with Flight 4 on the horizon, anticipation is running high among enthusiasts worldwide. But the excitement doesn't stop there. Even as we eagerly await the liftoff of Flight 4, preparations for Flight 5 are already well underway, showcasing SpaceX's relentless pursuit of innovation and advancement in space travel. Recent days have seen a flurry of activity surrounding the hardware of the Flight 5, really focusing on the S-30 spaceship. The next-generation spacecraft has been at the center of attention, with its involvement in various exciting activities hinting at its readiness for launch. Amidst these thrilling developments, keen-eye observers have noted several special upgrades to the S-30, further highlighting SpaceX's commitment to pushing the boundaries of space exploration. One of the significant modifications observed in the recent years is the upgrades to the S-30 Starship involving the communication antenna system. Previously, this system was installed on the nose cone of the prototype. However, in a noteworthy development, it has officially been removed and relocated to the S-30. This relocation indicates a strategic repositioning of the communications equipment, likely aimed at optimizing its functionality and ensuring better performance during flight. By moving the antenna system to a new location, SpaceX is demonstrating its commitment to refining and enhancing the spacecraft's communication capabilities, a crucial aspect of successful space missions. Another intriguing change observed in the upgrades is the S-30 Starship in the disappearance of welds that they were previously present on the aircraft. This alteration suggests a deliberate effort towards simplifying the ship's design, potentially with the aim of enhancing reliability and performance. The removal of these welds indicates a streamlining of the manufacturing process and reduction in unnecessary components, which could contribute to improved efficiency and reduced risk of failure during flight. By simplifying the design of the S-30 Starship, SpaceX is aligning with its goals of creating spacecraft that are not only innovative but also robust and reliable in the harsh conditions of space. The recent relocation of the antenna system on the S-30 Starship to a new position near the payload bay area marks a strategic move by SpaceX to optimize communication capabilities and ensure operational efficiency during missions. Positioned below the payload door, this new location places the communication antenna in close proximity to the critical payload bay which is always a focal point for safety considerations in space missions. By situating the antenna system near the payload bay, SpaceX aims to streamline communication processes and enhance reliability of data transmission between the spacecraft and ground control. The strategic placement of the communication antenna underscores SpaceX's commitment to prioritizing safety and functionality in its spacecraft design. The payload bay area plays a pivotal role in housing mission-critical cargo and equipment, making it essential to have reliable communication infrastructure nearby. By ensuring that the antenna system is located close to the crucial area, SpaceX can mitigate potential risks associated with communication delays or disruptions, thereby enhancing the overall safety and success of space missions. Moreover, positioning the communication antenna near the payload bay also aligns with SpaceX's goal of optimizing the overall design and functionality of the S-30 Starship. By consolidating key components and systems in strategic locations, SpaceX can streamline the operations and improve spacecraft's performance during various mission phases. This strategic approach to spacecraft design reflects SpaceX's innovative spirits and commitment to pushing the boundaries of space exploration. Overall, the relocation of the antenna system to a position near the payload bay area presents a significant enhancement to the S-30 Starship communication capabilities. By placing the antenna in close proximity to mission-critical components, SpaceX aims to improve communication reliability and ensure seamless data transmission during space missions. This strategic move underscores SpaceX's dedication to advancing space technology and underscores its position as a leader in the aerospace industry. In response to safety concerns and potential risks, SpaceX has implemented significant modifications to the camera setup on the S-29 Starship, particularly in light of the intense re-entry process. Initially, SpaceX introduced a triangular camera setup on the S-29 prototype on the lower right side of the antenna system. However, due to its location close to the heat shields below the forward flap and above the payload bay, there were concerns about the camera's exposure to the intense heat and plasma effects during re-entry. As a result, SpaceX has relocated the camera to a more sheltered location to mitigate potential risks and ensure its functionality during future re-entries and splashdowns of the S-30 prototype. In addition to the adjustments made to the camera setup, observers have noticed another significant alteration during the recent rollout of the S-30 Starship, the inclusion of vents in two key positions, specifically the payload bay and the liquid oxygen fuel tank. 
Unlike prior prototypes where these details were absent, the addition of vents serves to enhance the stability of the venting and pressure release processes, particularly in crucial areas of the spacecraft. By incorporating vents in strategic positions, SpaceX aims to ensure smoother operations and greater reliability during your various stages of the spacecraft's mission, including ascents, descents, and landing. These modifications underscore SpaceX's commitment to prioritizing safety, reliability, and functionality in its spacecraft design. By addressing potential risks and implementing strategic enhancements, SpaceX aims to optimize the performance of the S-30 Starship and enhance its capability to withstand the rigors of spaceflight. These changes reflect SpaceX's innovative approach to spacecraft development, where feedback from testing and observations informs continuous improvements to design and functionality. As SpaceX continues to refine its Starship prototypes, these modifications will play a crucial role in advancing the safety and success of future space missions. The S-30 Starship prototypes showcase a notable trend towards stability and refinement in SpaceX's spacecraft development journey. Compared to its predecessors, the S-30 exhibits relatively few changes, which is indicative of the spacecraft's progression towards a more stable and mature design. This trend underscores the iterative nature of SpaceX's approach to spacecraft development, where each test flight serves as a valuable learning opportunity to identify and address design improvements. Throughout the series of test flights, including other various previous Starship iterations, SpaceX has continuously refined the designs based on feedback from testing observations. These iterative improvements also led to a reduction in the number of necessary upgrades with each successive iteration. As a result, the S-30 represents a more evolved and optimized version of the Starship with fewer modifications than its predecessors to achieve a design objective. The minimal changes observed in the S-30 prototype also reflect SpaceX's confidence in the spacecraft's design and performance capabilities. As SpaceX gains more experience and data from the test flights, the need for major redesign alterations diminishes, signaling a maturation of the Starship program. The progression towards stability is crucial of a milestone in SpaceX's goal for developing a reliable and robust spacecraft capable of supporting a wide range of missions, including crewed flights to the Moon and Mars. Furthermore, the relative stability of the S-30 prototype suggests that SpaceX is nearing the end of the development phase for Starship Version 1. With the transition of Version 2 on the horizon, SpaceX's focus may shift towards laying the groundwork for significant enhancements and advancements in future iterations of the spacecraft. This strategic approach to development ensures that SpaceX remains the forefront of space exploration by continuously pushing the boundaries of innovation and technology. SpaceX reached a significant milestone with its Falcon 9 rocket, a booster completed in the 20th launch within a remarkable time frame of under a month. This historic feat occurred on May 2nd, underscoring the remarkable pace and efficiency of SpaceX's launch operations. And notably, this launch marked the 44th mission of 2024 for SpaceX and the 328th launch of the Falcon 9 overall. The successful completion of 20 launches within a, such a short time frame and demonstrates SpaceX's unmatched capability to rapidly deploy payloads into space, further solidifying its position as a leader in the aerospace space industry. On the other hand, NASA's recent report on the issue encountered during the Artemis 1 test flight of the Orion spacecraft shed lights on concerning challenges ahead for the agency. The anomalies discovered during this test flight pose a significant safety risk to the crew, highlighting the importance of addressing these issues before proceeding with future missions. The report underscores the critical nature of resolving these anomalies for NASA's readiness for Artemis 2, the next phase of its lunar exploration program. Addressing these challenges is essential to ensure the safety and success of future Artemis missions, as NASA continues its ambitious efforts to return humans to the moon and beyond.